What's good? What's good? This your boy DJ Cree back with another video, man. Man, Drake, your boy Drake is crashing out in real time, and this is the most hilarious thing in the world, man. He he gets on stream with XCT or XCT CT or whatever his name is. Oh man, still dissing the West Coast, Kendrick Lamar, uh, everybody. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that. Your boy Drake is suing Universal for uh, allegedly inflating and paying for streams and like, uh, oh God, yeah, man. Let's go to the first clip. This guy's like a fragile op, but it's a good song though. You know, it's a fragile op. Okay, interesting. Yeah, he's like a fragile op, but it's a good song though. Okay, so. What does that mean, a fragile up? No. Chat knows what I'm talking about. Fragility. Interesting, actually. Okay, we need, we need, we need, no. Need... You, all right, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm Drake. This is XQC, real streaming legend. Me, I do music, in case you didn't know. I'm here, as you can see, fully intact. Mind, body, and soul, in case you were wondering. Right? Mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul. You need facts to take me out. Fairy tales won't do it. Cheers to everybody. Words to live by. Words to live by. You have to switch this song, though. It's on a play, you know, so I'm like... You have to switch this one. Real, we're real sixers. We're real sixers. We're real, real six hat. We don't listen to that. You ever listen to this before? Nah. Uh, what? what, what yeah, yeah, of course. What do you mean? Yeah, exactly. Play some Blink-182. I want to hear that real shit. This has to be on Turbo 100%. Even on Turbo is... As y'all can see, your boy Drake is on one. Obviously, his feelings are still hurt, man. He... Man, Drake, you giving light-skinned people a bad name. And I ain't even light-skinned. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm getting concerned about your mental health, man. Are you going to jump off the Toronto State Bridge? <laughs> I don't know, man. It is incredible to see Kendrick Lamar take the crown. He, nah, Kendrick didn't even take the crown from Drake's head. He snatched it. <laughs> I, man, if you a Drake fan, don't don't cry. Please don't cry. Please. You, it, I promise you, in 2025 might be different for Drake if he just put out some banging music. And of course, the most infamous thing to hit the news in like a week. <laughs> it says, what the heck? Uh, Drake files paperwork accusing Spotify and Universal Music, a group of running a Rico level scheme to post, to boost popularity of Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us. <laughs> what is going <laughs> Drake man Drake and, and by the way Drake cut his hair you know he going through one of them Britney Spears moments you know what I'm saying he, he back look like he back the old Drake first he was gangstalicious and all these other you know what I'm saying he was uh, Drake Williams now he's back to old Drake he's back to uh, early 2000s Drake you know what I'm saying? With the low haircut, low fade. And here are some social media reactions to Drake filing this lawsuit. Lame ass nigga. The first one is Drake taking it to court after losing a rap battle is not hip hop at all. <laughs> Soft. Overrated. Pretty boy. A bitch. We Thank saw you. it. I know that's right. Thank you, Miss Pinkett. Kev on stage, post this. Scotty Bean with one. <laughs> Hilarious. Y'all know Punch from TDE had to give his little two cents. It said, he said, nah, the rap streets is done. Shaking my head. And <laughs> then Mustard <laughs> uh, types. OMG. Laughing my, you know, A off. <laughs> People are having so much fun with this. They say Kendrick told Drake he didn't have any cultural currency without siphoning 
from black Americans and he called the feds. <laughs> Drake literally begged Kendrick to drop. That's what makes this a hundred, no, a thousand times funny. <laughs> man, Drake. Oh, man, Drake, you crazy. Lastly, and but not least, um, you know, little attorney homeboy, you know, made a little TikTok video, you know what I'm saying, explaining the whole situation. Um, I'm going to come back with my commentary. I'm going to let this rock out, then I'll come back with my commentary. Um, I've been around a lot of rappers and legal drama, and this is the best one I've ever seen when you understand it. So first, this isn't a lawsuit. It's a petition where Drake is asking the court to require Universal Music Group to give him evidence that he needs to bring a RICO lawsuit and a lawsuit alleging illegal business practices. What he says is, I don't know who the other people were involved with Universal, but under the law, Universal has to tell me who they are so I can sue them for the following. Civil RICO, deceptive business practices. What these people did is they used illegal bots to make it seem like Not Like Us was a lot more popular than it actually was. They cite to an academics interview where academics is on stream talking to some dude and the dude says, I got paid $5,000 and promised a percent of Not Like Us in exchange for delivering 30 million fake bot streams when Not Like Us first launched so that it would seem more popular than it was and the algorithms would bump it up everywhere. What's really interesting about Drake's claim is that if you watch the academics interview, academics questions the veracity, the truth of this guy saying, hey, bro, are you sure? Like somebody promised you points for bot streams. There's producers and engineers and people who feature on songs who don't get a percent of the song. And somebody promised you academics questioned this guy's story. Anyway, Drake's lawyers saw it fit for a filing in a New York state court. And they say, look, this is some evidence of the bots. Then they say that Universal typically takes a cut in order for somebody like Spotify to put a Universal song on Spotify. And that in this case, Universal wanted Not Like Us to be more popular. And so they agreed to take a lower cut and they gave it to Spotify on the low, low, cheaper. They paid radio for plays that, hey, Universal Music Group, in order to make Not Like Us artificially popular, paid people in radio. Apparently, they claim that all of this is illegal and that it caused damage to Drake by reducing his popularity, getting him less streams. They argue that streaming is a zero-sum game. Every time Not Like Us got streamed, it resulted in Drake not getting a stream because you necessarily can't get a stream if everybody's listening to something else on that day and they have all these other wild allegations in there including this idea that universal is firing people who have loyalty to drake and preferring people who have loyalty to kendrick they also claim that universal told drake that hey this is not none of this is our problem your problems are with mr lamar you should sue kendrick lamar's last name by the way is duckworth they say your problems are Mr. Are with Mr. Duckworth. You should sue Mr. Duckworth. And if you sue Mr. Duckworth, maybe we'll jump in there with you. Because <laughs> what I think is happening here, first off, my mind is spinning because I can't imagine that you're relying on a source that academics questioned and that. <laughs> but here's what I think is happening. I think you might have a situation where Drake realizes that not like us, and everything around that song and this battle has forever tarnished his earning ability and his ability to make that money. This is what I think is is so significantly reduced that he's got to do everything he possibly can to get it back. Even if that means filing these claims where you're out here, I, I would never file a claim like this if I were him, unless I guess there was that much money on the line because from a PR perspective, my gosh, what do we think, people? Does this does this play well or does this play poorly for the boy? Let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and it has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. 
at the end of the day, um, I just believe, you know, this battle was a battle strictly of the mind. It wasn't even about the music because technically Drake has some hard music. You know what I'm saying? I think Drake took things to a level, a whole new level with his pen, his lyricism. But Kendrick lyrically and mentally um, obtained something for Drake that Drake could never get back. <laughs> that, that's his... As his manhood, <laughs> how you how you take a dude manhood? No, the, the the crazy thing is Drake is still selling, but Drake don't want to. Drake don't want to uh, admit that he's still. You still selling people still listening to your music, dog. <laughs> he he want to find any way to win this this battle, man. Drake just just make good music. That's all it takes to get back relevant in the game, dog. We we are very simple people. Make good music. That's it. <laughs> but let me know what y'all think about what the lawyer said and just the way uh, Drake acted. Man, man, man y'all better check up on Drake. Drake is crashing out. Check up on Drake. But let me know in the comments, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. More content is on the way. Peace.